love, love is love is what is good, what is going on. Isn't it an amazing day today? I pray it is for you because it is for me. Let me tell you something. Don't ever think sugar ain't going through her storm. I just don't focus on it. I focus on the blessings because it's the blessings that bring you every lesson that is needed in your life. Each time you go through something, it is an opportunity to grow. You either choose to evolve or you choose to replay the same song over and over and over again. And it's okay because sometimes that's the way you heal. In order to heal, you got to speak about it. You got to get it out until you are no longer wanting to speak about it no more. You feel me? So my topic today, lovers, is a healthy family requires a healthier, stronger you. Because one thing I can tell you, my family has did some shit to me, lovers. And I love them. I don't get me twisted. I love the God in them. But sometimes the devil in them, honey, I be wanting to freaking punch him in the throat. So, you know, I had to gain self-control of my own self so that I could have patience. Because one thing I can tell you, lovers, is that we're not all growing on the same pace. You know, everybody's evolving on their own spiritual path and on their own spiritual level. So when you understand who you are, you won't cast judgment. And one thing I can tell you, Spirit, is that I never judged my family. I just spoke my truth. And, you know, sometimes when you speak your truth, what does it do? It either going to hurt you or change you. So my thing is, I'd rather it change you than to hurt you because that's not my intention. And once you start growing and flowing within your own self-love, you just be who you are and you allow them to be who they are. And that is what unconditional love is all about, lovers. And one thing I have learned on my journey, you know, because just yesterday I called my dad, you know, I even called my mom, you know, a few days prior. I called my grandmother and I just let them know, you know what? I love you. I called my aunt, you know, I let them know, listen, I love you. I've never had any animosity towards you. I just had to heal because y'all done did some shit to me that I didn't deserve. And once you are able to speak your truths and, and not have to argue about them, that's when you know you have set your boundaries. You got to set healthy boundaries because you got to teach people how to love you because people don't know. And if you were never taught how to love you or if you never took the time to love you, how can you ever love anybody else? So my thing is, lovers, continue to love yourself, continue to grow, continue to be the best you that you are, continue to evolve because the stronger you become in heart, the better you become for those who really love you. Because let me tell you something, lovers, there's motherfuckers out here who don't really love you. At least you know your family might do some shit, but you know what? They really love you. Or at least most of them do. And if they, and if the other ones don't, you got to pray for them. And it's not that they don't love you. Sometimes jealousy is involved. Envy is involved. Wealth, they, they want to put money before your heart. They want to put material things before your heart. And let me tell you something, lover. One thing about Suge, if it's not offered, it's not genuine. Because I shouldn't have to ask for my worth because I know what I'm worthy of. And nor should you, lover. You should never have to ask for your worth. You know, you tell them who you are. You tell them exactly who you are. And you set boundaries for what you want. And if they can meet you in the middle, then you know what? That is all right by me. Because I'll love you no matter what. Because God loves you. And one thing I can tell you, baby, through life. You're going to learn, you're going to grow, and you're going to evolve, but you have to choose it. You got to choose the God in you because if you stay in the mind and you stay focused on the, the, the devil in your mind and you stay focused on the bullshit, that's all that's going to keep coming to you. So stay focused on the love. Stay focused on what's in you. No matter what anyone has done to you, give them love because you know what? They need it more than you do, baby. So should the hood Dalai Lama is out. My baby is home. He's not feeling well today, so I got to go and, you know, love on him. And, you know, I just wanted to just shoot this message out to y'all real quick so that you can understand what love really is all about. Love is about healing yourself and going in and healing your family once you get stronger. Or healing those you love once you get stronger. You got to pull people up with your wealth from your heart before you can pull anybody up from with wealth from your pockets. Ha <laughs> ha! Have an amazing day, lovers. No, I love you. Hit me up on freaking uh, Instagram, sugs.love.7. That's sugslove.7 on the gram. And remember, love donations are always welcome from your heart, whether it's a thank you, I love your web, you want to put some cash in my freaking Square Cash account. Know that it is all grateful and it is all grateful because let me tell you something. Teamwork makes the dream work. And I thank you all for riding this love train with me. I love you all. Have an amazing day. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Peace.